Oh, hello everybody. My name is Benjasaur, and if you remember that one uh, video I posted, I think it may have been two or three videos prior to this one, uh, I finally unlocked the laser-guided missiles for the attack jets, or pardon me, for the jets in general. And I was first very, very, very excited about them. I was like, all right, it's going to be awesome. I'm going to be raping some noobs and blowing shit up and... Yeah, badass pilot of Top Gun, do 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 highway, and all that stuff. After having played a while with them, I am going to say that I am very disappointed. Very disappointed, and I'll get more on that later. But in the meantime, I wanted to talk a little bit about some news that has been that I found out about the uh, the next patch. Now, I don't know if it's true. I haven't been able to find any confirmation about it, uh, specifically addressing this point. But in the the, fir well, the next patch, I guess it would be the first actual client-side patch. I think DICE has done a couple uh, server-side changes since the game's been out. But for the first actual client-side patch, they're going to be addressing the mortars. And watch this right here. Full afterburner, probably what is that? Ten feet off the deck, flying full afterburner. Oh, and here's a quick tip before I get back to the uh, the news: the area the area outside of the actual combat area, you can fly through all of those trees. None of those trees will crash you. If you're once you're inside of the combat area, you will crash into trees. Now the combat area is defined as the area if you were to bail out of your jet. That's the area that you do not have the suicide countdown in. So once you get into that area where if you bail out, you suicide, that is when uh, you have to watch out for trees. But when you're on the outside of the map, especially on this particular map, you can go through trees like they're no, like they're nothing, and it's not going to matter to you. It's not going to do anything negative. Now, real quick, the patch news is apparently after the first client side patch, the MAV will be able to take out uh, mortars. On the other team. Now, what that means, it won't. Be, it will not give you a kill of the person using the mortar. It will disable the mortar itself, so that the support guy who's camping in his base, going thump, 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 for five minutes, will not be able to go thump, thump, thump after you disable his mortars. And to my, to me, I'm gonna love that. I've been noticing a lot more MAVs flying around the battlefield. And the fact that they can kill uh, claymores, uh, spawn beacons, claymores, radio beacons, tugs, and uh, you know, I think, and I think they can. No, that, that's it. Those are the three, four things, the three things they can kill. I think. Uh, I'm not sure about claymores, but I know the tugs and the spawn beacons, uh, the MAV can destroy. The fact that they're adding mortars to that list is freaking amazing. It's freaking amazing. I don't even I don't know any other way to describe it. I, I'm really, really excited. I think it's going to hopefully remove a lot of the mortar spam that you see in Rush. And uh, more points to the recon kit, which I always enjoy. Since we can't kill tanks by ourselves anyway. I don't like that. That's the one decision about Battlefield 3 I do not like. In fact, the recon kit cannot kill tanks by themselves anymore. Neither can the assault kit, actually, because they, they took the C4 off that one as well. It, it is what it is, though. What can I say? The gameplay, uh, the kit I'm running, specifically, is the recon, uh, recon kit. That really should not be a surprise to anybody. I think I have, like, 15 times more XP with the recon kit than any of the others. I'm running the SKS, foregrip, laser sight, and infrared scope, and I'm here in my text chat on calling for teammate support on the flag. And eventually I do get it. Now, why am I running the laser sight on the SKS? Because the SKS has a really high fire rate. And I can spray it from hip and the laser sight helps with the hip spraying. You'll see that uh, later on in here. But I don't know if anybody's familiar with the, the rumors going around during prior to Battlefield 3's launch that Battlefield 3 would have a, some sort of dinosaur mode. And while there is no dinosaur mode, Tyrannosaurus Rexes are in Battlefield 3. Case in point... Right here. This tank is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I am laying out in the open. Pretty much in the open. I may be in a shadow. I don't know. I'm not moving. The tank does not see me. 
Tyrannosaurus Rex's vision is based on movement. Therefore, the tank is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I kill the dude repairing it because I'm a team player like that. And then I get the hell out of there just in case the Tyrannosaurus Rex decided to see that those shots. <laughs> uh, this is a setup I, I really am enjoying. Now, if you've noticed, the infrared scope on the SKS is actually a dot. On, on the other battle rifles and sniper rifles, the infrared scope is more like a traditional mil dot sky, uh, sniper scope. And it has the, the full bars up and down. And that guy was trying to be Grizz. You ain't Grizz, baby. <laughs> that is about as fast as you can shoot the SKS. And I got this guy up the Jeep. Bam, 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 bam. And I think I turn on... Oh, this guy. I don't know what happened. He tries to knife me. You're not playing Call of Duty, baby. You got no lunge. You got no lunge. Get off me. Actually, I don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm talking like a gangster, yo. But I'm white as hell, so I guess that would make me a wigger. I'm a wigger. You're white and you talk all gangster. That makes you a wigger. <laughs> if you don't know what that stands for, white plus... A name black people call each other, but if white people say it, it's offensive. Combine those two together, and you get Wigger. <laughs> Alright, that is my death. And I find, uh, right here, I don't jump into the jet right away, because I'm trying to... I saw that jet that was fl flying around our spawn, and I was going to get in the, uh, the uh, Centurion AA, try to shoot it down, but apparently he uh, ignored the jet that just spawned in. And I'm going to get on his ass and uh, treat it like he's a got a uh, new prisoner in Oz. I don't know if you guys ever watched Oz on HBO. It ran from like 2008 to 2004, I think. I'm not sure exactly. It's a it's it's ridiculous. Uh, a lot of the people that were in uh, a lot of the cast of Law and Order SVU were in it. Uh, Detective Stabler's character, uh, Doctor Skoda is a, a pretty big character yeah, a couple of detectives anyway this is why I want to make this commentary right here this is why I said I'm very disappointed in the laser guided missiles right I don't know if you were paying attention hopefully you were I shot that tank with a laser guided missile after he was hit by an RPG and I only get 34 points for the vehicle destroy assist with the laser guided missiles pardon me with the laser guided missiles, they will not kill a tank. They will not. Oh, okay. They will not dis bring a tank from full health to disabled in one hit. They will not kill a tank that is halfway damaged. They are very weak in compared to the uh, in compared to the uh, rocket pods. With the rocket pods, if I line up a shot, I can get at least 100 points out of each volley. I can get the vehicle disabled. I may not be able to get the kill, but I'll get the vehicle disabled. Plus, I can use rocket pods against against infantry. Now, the laser guided missile is somewhat effective against light vehicles, uh, and it can be utilized to so flam. So, if you're trying to shoot down uh, helicopters or jets, it can be very effective for that if you get get it so flammed. But in terms of uh, fighter jet against full health tank. If I hit it with a uh, with the uh, the guided missile, it's not going to do much damage at all. The tanks are going to be like, derp, 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 I'm going to go tank, 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 and just keep going. That's my impression of a tank. Very bad, I know. But I'm trying to put the dinosaur mentality into it. Okay. Here's the question. Here's the, basically my opinion. If I had to pick between rocket pods and the laser guided missiles. On the attack, on the, the fighter jets, not the attack jets, the fighter jets. If I had to pick the rocket pods and the laser guided missile, I would have to say rocket pods, hands down. Because, like I said, I can get 100 points out of each run at a vehicle. Whereas right here, I hit the tank, and I don't get any points out of it at all. It makes a nice big explosion, very loud, smoke's going everywhere, but I don't get any points. And I, I, that doesn't do, do me any good. And from what I can tell by playing this this role as a, a, a laser guided missile fighter jet pilot, the actual missile itself does about the same damage as an RPG, maybe a little more. And to me, 
That is pretty freaking pathetic, considering how high of an unlock this weapon actually is. Now, I've tried attacking jet. I've tried attacking tanks from very high altitudes. That way, the missile hits straight down at the top of the tank. It doesn't seem to make much of a difference. I've tried attacking from the back end of a tank, where you know the weakest armor is. It does not seem to make much of a difference. Basically. No matter where I hit the tank, it seems to only do 34 damage, which is actually a three hit kill on a tank. And while you're flying around waiting for your missile to recharge, the tank is actually, the tank's health will regenerate faster than your missile will reload. Now, I don't know if it's the same way, if, it, if it's that way with the, the ground attack jets like the A-10 and the Frogfoot. But this, this, this is a weapon system that really needs to be able to fire two at a time. The, as I get a kill right there. I actually watched that a couple times. The guy jumped out to repair the tank. A missile hit the guy at the back of the tank as he was repairing it. And right here, I pull off this weird little physics flying move that I'm flying, like sliding sideways. And then Battlefield 3 decides to troll me. And bam. Game crashes. So. What can I do? That's my opinion on the rocket pod versus guided missile. Go for the rocket pod. Guided missiles are trash. Until next time, guys. Happy fragging.